Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Cutter here coming at you guys with another video. Um, I know that it's been a little while since I've made a video, but this is going to be a game pickup video. Some of these are old games, some of these are new games, and I have a really, really cool surprise at the end to show you guys uh, one of the things that I picked up. Alright, first off, Diablo 2. Um, I bought this from Walmart. It wasn't like a find or anything. Uh, I just wanted the game, and I've wanted it for quite a while. I used to play it at my uncle's and at my friend's house all the time so I finally just decided to go ahead and pick it up uh, next up this one was also bought from Walmart uh, didn't find it anywhere it's Skyrim Legendary Edition uh, I got 60 bucks plus tax I got it just about when it first came out and uh, I've been playing it a whole lot um, I love Skyrim it's a fantastic game I bought it on the PC but my computer couldn't run it as well as I thought it would be able to so I just went ahead and got it on the 360 with all the DLCs and I've put a lot of hours into this so far uh, next up I thought this was really cool I got a uh, Unreal it's by the same people that make Unreal Tournament I'm pretty sure I don't know if you guys see right there but it says Windows 95 this thing's pretty old um, it's got the booklet and the CD I don't know if there's supposed to be anything else with it. I don't think there is, though. Next up, for $1, I got Top Gun for the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES. Uh, pretty cool. I sadly don't own one, but for a dollar, I just decided to go ahead and pick it up. I think this was in like the top 10 hardest games on there, too, so that's pretty cool. And for only a dollar, it's in pretty good shape, too. Not too much staining, no cracks or scrapes or scratches um, alright next up for the PlayStation 2 for a bundle of ten dollars I got Tekken Tag Tournament which was brand new still in the packaging I opened it myself which I thought was really cool and I got Champions of Norath um, this game I've loved Tekken ever since I was a child um, I've played it a lot it's one of my favorite fighting games if not my favorite fighting game uh, just a really, really good game series, and Tekken Tag is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Champions of Norath, this game I bought a long time ago from a pawn shop. It wasn't this copy, but I bought a copy of this a long time ago from a pawn shop. And I didn't realize that uh, on the disc, right here on the disc, it was cracked. And it, like, it wasn't like cracked way out here to where you could see it, but I mean, I'm like the little solar part right there it was cracked so it didn't work which that really really sucked I was really bummed out about that I tried the toothpaste trick and everything else on that game when I was younger trying to get it to work and it never did but finally got to play it and it's a whole lot of fun alright and the last thing but definitely not the most least thing this is probably so far in me just buying video games here and there whenever I have money for a fine this is probably the coolest fine I've had um, for three dollars I got a Nintendo 64 game still in the box with the instruction booklet and like a little move guide uh, I got this for three dollars at a pawn shop this is the first time I've ever personally owned a Nintendo 64 game in a box or with a box um, so I don't know exactly what they're supposed to look like on the inside but there's that I would imagine there was like a cardboard piece in here to hold the cartridge but I'm not 100% sure on that like I said, I've never seen one in person or messed around with one in person. I've seen them at like game stores, but I never asked for them to like pull it out and look at the game. But uh, there's a cartridge. There's the game right there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but no staining, no scratches, no cuts. The back of it's not worn out at all. Whoever had this took really good care of it. And then there's little instruction booklet on the back right there it says printed in Japan um, none of the pages are torn out or torn or messed up in any way it's in really good condition and then there's this move list which I thought was really cool um, I never played this game before I bought it uh, a few weeks ago it's a lot of fun, but it's, it's very frustrating and hard and challenging. 
It's pretty cool though, I mean, the fact I got a box Nintendo 64 game for $3, I just found that to be really, really awesome. Um, definitely happy to have a box Nintendo 64 game in my collection, and I want to get a whole lot more of them. It's just a matter of me finding them. I could just order them online, but I'd much rather just find them and get them for a much cheaper price. Alright guys, so I got Glover, Nintendo 64 still box. Champions of Norath, PlayStation 2, uh, complete. Tekken Tag Tournament, PlayStation 2, complete. Top Gun, which cost me $1, Nintendo. Unreal for the PC, complete, I believe. It also cost me a dollar. Skyrim Legendary Edition cost me sixty dollars plus tax. And then Diablo 2 complete twenty dollars plus tax from Walmart. Alright guys, those are my video games pickups for these past few months. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.